What's going on, YouTube? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I know I've been on a little bit of a hiatus recently in posting content. I have not posted that much in the last couple of months, but the plan is to get back into it pretty regularly, both short form and long form here on YouTube. With that being said, Call of Duty released some pretty big updates for Rebirth Island, and I have been having a ton of fun with the new Rebirth Resurgence Solos mode. We were able to drop 28 kills in this gameplay. However, it's a little bit different with Rebirth Island Solos as it's hectic all the time, so it's a little bit harder to get your loadout at the beginning. So half the guns used in this are with ground loot and the other half are used with my loadout. We'll go over the loadout class at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Nice. God dang it. Bobby. Hey, bro. this what's this hostile dropping into the area what Not doing bad off the rip. I don't know what gun this is, but I'm moving. Kind of liking it. All calculated. Safe zone highlighted. Enemy cluster strike. Watch your heads. I mean, I don't care where you put that on me. I mean, to be honest, as long as it doesn't kill me, I don't really care.
Need to get out of here, bro. Enemy dropping into the AO. You got back. It's such a spot I don't want to be in. This is the end game. Oh shit. Your team is in the top five. Let's be the last. Enemy soldier nearby. God damn it, bro. It's a game. Market targets. You cleared off. This is Phoenix 3. Strike inbound. All right. Gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Damn, bro. You've got gas moving in. Easy. A little 28er? A little 28er, chat? Let's go. All right, so let's talk about the loadout a little bit. With the M13, it's pretty much your typical build, just with one changed attachment that you don't usually see. Uh, for the muzzle, I'm using the typical monolithic suppressor. For the barrel, I'm using the Tempest Marksman.
for the under barrel, I'm using the Commando foregrip, and for the magazine, I'm using the 50 round mag. You can use the 16 round mag, whichever one you really prefer. The difference with my build is that I'm using the GI Mini Reflex, which is actually a red dot rather than the holographic or the blue dot or the VLK that people usually use. Okay, so now let's talk about the Diamante. So with the Diamante, I have actually never seen a single build on this gun. I hadn't really used it a whole lot. I've used it probably a handful of times, but I did put the attachments on it that are usually good on almost every Cold War weapon. Uh, with that being said, I'm using the Agency Suppressor, the Task Force Barrel, the Tiger Team Spotlight, the 24 round Speed Mag, and then lastly, I'm using the Serpent Wrap. That'll wrap up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel greatly. I'll catch you in the next video.